Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in my video today, I'm going to be doing this Corpse Bride inspired look. Since a ton of you guys requested it, I wanted to do something with a little bit of a twist, aka I don't own a blue wig, so we just had to switch up the color palette, make it a little bit more purple tone. Obviously you guys can recreate this using the traditional colors off of the movie going more so for like a blue tone palette. So this headpiece is actually very simple to make. All it requires is a few items which you probably already have at your house and I will show you guys how I made it. So if you guys would like to see how I made this headpiece and you'd like to see how I did the makeup then please keep watching and let's get started. Starting this look off I'm going to begin by taking the Mayron pastel palette and using this lavender shade here and applying that all over my face and chest. Well, the area on my chest that's going to be exposed and I applied about like two coats of this and then I'll be going over it using the NYX special effects cream in white. This looks ridiculous as all hell but I'm telling you it works for making sure that you get uh, underneath your neck you don't want to have like a line of product missing so make sure you do the double chin and just uh, yeah just blend that shit out. And now I'm just making sure that I am hitting all the highlight points of my face. Basically, I'm applying this all over my face just to make it a little bit more opaque. But if you applied a little bit more paint to the rest of your face, you can kind of skip this step. Because we are working with cream products, we want to make sure to set that. So going into the Cupcakes and Monsters palette, I'm using this shade called called got milk and setting that in all the areas that I had applied the white and then I'm going to be going in using the purple SFX color and applying it to the contours of my cheeks. I would definitely look at a reference photo of Emily because her contour is very skeletal and you kind of want to use like a reference photo for that just to make sure you get it right and I am going over the bottom portion of the contour just again to solidify the color because I didn't really make it that opaque. Make sure you set that as well. And then we're going to be bringing the contour all around the edge of our hairline and temples. And yeah, once you're happy with the shape and all that stuff, we're going to set it using the Urban Decay Electric Palette using the shade Urban and really, really deepening up the hollows of those cheeks. Make sure to blend all of that out. Apologies for this being a little bit out of focus, but I'm also bringing that contour and making a V-line shape to my chin so it gives it more of like a cartoony and hollowed effect. Now going into the Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to be applying that onto my eye and then setting it using Got Milk on both the upper and lower portion of my eye. Now we'll be defining the crease, both the top and lower, so starting off with Funny Face, I'm going to be popping that onto the lower portion of my crease and this is pretty, uh, I'm bringing it pretty low down because I want to have like a doe-eyed effect. I want my eyes to look a little bit droopy as well. So yeah, you can kind of use your own eye shape as a guidance. And I'm also bringing some of that color up towards the front of my eyebrow. And then going in with Jilted, I'm going to apply that into the crease. And then to deepen up the crease even further on a skinny little brush here, this is the Smith 304 brush. And I'm deepening up that crease even further, again, making sure to blend that out. And doing the exact same thing on the lower lash line, you do want to sort of use like your eye bag as a little bit of a reference for where to create the bottom portion of the crease. So it kind of gives it more of that anime effect to the eye. Then going into the pastel palette and using that dark purple shade there, I'm going to etch up my eyebrows. If you kind of fuck up a little bit, don't worry about it. We can totally fix it up using a little bit of that cream color, the special effects white cream color. So yeah, I just had to clean up the edges a little bit. And then using that exact same color, we're going to be applying it to our eyes and creating almost like an upside down cat liner. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm bringing it down pretty far and then connecting it to the bottom portion and sort of angling it downward so it gives it that upside down cat eye effect. Off camera, I applied these to the bottom lashes and then these to the top. These are the Coco Lashes in Stella. And then for my lips, I'm going in with the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Pink Lust and applying it all over. Uh, this is sort of sticking true to Emily's character in the movie. I did want to have something that was a little bit similar. Well, it all is kind of similar. It's just a different color palette. But you can change up the lips if you'd like. I wanted to stay true to it. And then for the little empty hole thing she's got in the side of her mouth, I'm just first etching that out using a little bit of eyeshadow, going over it using some body paint, and then filling in the teeth using a little bit of white cream paint and dabbing that out. Ooh. 
Lastly, to add my own little touch to it, I really cannot get away from doing this in looks. I think it just looks so pretty. So I'm dragging down a little bit of black eyeshadow here, kind of giving the effect that she was crying because, you know, she did. She wasn't supposed to die and she was supposed to get murdered and shit. So we, we would be sad, right? Am I right? I'm totally right. Anyways, once you're all good with that, change into your outfit, apply some contacts. I will leave the link for the contacts that I used in the description bar below, and that is everything. I will be attaching a separate video for how I made this crown, just to save on time on this one. So if you guys would like to see how I made it, please make sure you check out the link in the description bar below, and thank y'all so much for watching. So that was my tutorial guys, hopefully you enjoyed, found it helpful and useful to you in some sort of way. Let me know what you thought of this makeup in the comment section down below. Once again, I will be doing 31 days of Halloween, so if you haven't subscribed already, you should definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all my other creations. I'm going to be making a lot more um, like headpieces and just like props and stuff, so if you guys like de do it yourself tutorials y'all should subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check me out on all my other social media. Feel free to follow me there and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye!